Hello, hello! Welcome to my gameplay slash commentary of the new LEGO Harry Potter collection, which has just been released on the PS4 and the PS4 only. So if you're an Xbox One player or a PC player, I'm very sorry. Well, I'm not sure why I would be sorry for that, but unfortunately, you can't play it. But I mean, I'm pretty sure this game would be exactly the same as the, as the like, the games that were released. Like, I'm not sure what's new about this collection, besides the fact that Lego Harry Potter years 1 to 4 and 5 to 7 are all on the convenience of one disc. So I think besides that and a bit of graphical remastering, um, the game's pretty much the same. It just includes all the DLC, which is basically just a few extra characters and spells. So it's not too big of a loss for non-PS4 players. I mean, Xbox One players got to play Rise of the Tomb Raider first. We're getting Lego Harry Potter Collection, so who's the real winner here? I actually played this game for the first time on the Wii a number of years ago. Well, would have been, would have been a couple of years ago anyway, but I am very excited to play it again. Because I'm pretty sure that every Lego game I've played has been a good one. Can't say the same thing for every Harry Potter game, but put Lego and Harry Potter together and you get magic, so should be good. So of course we're just starting at year one, the Philosopher's Stone or the Sorcerer's Stone if you're from America. I like the, uh, the humor, I like the fact that the Lego games make every franchise a bit more humorous. And it's funny because they don't even speak any, like they don't say anything, they just kind of speak in the way that the Sims would speak, which is just like, <laughs> so it's funny how they kind of just do that. Saves a lot of money on uh, voice acting, I must say. And here is baby Harry already wearing his glasses, so. And here's his letter. I remember the first time I watched um, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I think it, that was one of... Potentially that was one of the first movies I ever watched in the cinema. I think the very first movie I watched in the cinema was Wild Wild West, starring a young Will Smith. I don't remember what that movie was about, but... I think I liked it. Can't really remember. It might have been a terrible movie. I was probably five at the time, so who knows. I think one thing that anyone who has seen the first Harry Potter movie can say is that, or ask rather, is why didn't Harry just pick up one of the letters on the ground when they were all flying around in his house? He just had to go and catch one, didn't he? All for the sake of film aesthetic. Oh, Hagrid. I think Hagrid was probably Harry's best father figure. Best and most consistent father figure of all time. So here we are in the Leaky Cauldron. Oh, it's so cute. I have not played a Lego game like properly since uh, probably Lego Marvel Super Heroes, which is a very fun one as well. I think I'm gonna play as Hagrid because he gets to do magic and shit. So, let's cast some spells. This better give me a buttload of coins because I want to be a true wizard. All right, coinage, give me the coins. So of course our first stop would be Diagon Alley, which is where Harry gets all of his shit. Let me just break up some crap. Give me, give me that coin. Oh yeah. So there have been so many freaking remasterings of classic, or classic, when I say classic I mean games that are like, what, five years old? But anyway, there have been so many remasterings for uh, you know, current gen consoles, so it gets to the point where you kind of don't ever want to plug in your PS4 or, I mean your PS3 or your Xbox 360 because 
Like, why, why bother if you can just play the same game on your new console with enhanced graphics, so they say. But if I'm being completely honest, I think the one game that I want more than anything to be re-released on the PS4 would be um, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 Remakes, hello! Because I, don't, I myself don't have a PS3, but I, I'm not going. I'm not going to bother buying one just to play that. And I'm pretty sure I can just feel that Square Enix are going to release one and two on the PS4 before three comes out. I think it's more likely that they'll release that before three comes out because it's been like what ten years since uh, Kingdom Hearts two has been out. So my body is totally ready for another remastering. Although I don't know how much more they can remaster it on the PS4, considering that it was only remastered recently anyway, but who knows. And I bet that Red Dead Redemption 1 will be released on the PS4 before the second one comes out sometime next year. I'm so excited. I think everyone like shit their pants when they heard about it because it's just oh, such a good game. And I expect nothing less than quality gaming from Rockstar. So, woohoo. I think there was something here. I could get that crest. I could just I can't why can't I get it out of the frame? Oh, just missed all those coins there. Move, bitch. How do I... Oh, there was something I had to break. Oh, there it is. And then I can get... There was something I could collect here. I remember that. Um, so this is really awkward. I can't jump up and get that. So... Gee, thanks. Oh my god, I'm like, what is that sound? Alright, let me just pause this real quick. What the fuck? Okay. Sorry, my phone was making a weird sound. But anyway, I have to use magic. I loved. <laughs> it's so funny though because when you rewatch the first Harry Potter movie and you see the scene where you know Hagrid taps on the wall to Diagon Alley and then all the bricks move apart, you just re you don't you never realize. That the CGI is actually so bad. I mean, considering it was 2001. But it's just it's just weird about it's just weird how like when you watch the movie for the first time, like when it first when it first would have come out, you just like don't even realize that it looks so terrible because you know you think that that standard of CGI is amazing. Oh, Diagon Alley looks awesome. Okay, gotta get to Gringotts gonna what's Hagrid what the okay cool anybody got time for that Hagrid get out of there thank you is that Malfoy hmm. I'm just going to magic the shit out of everything um first of all you're a freaking idiot Saved you. Fool. Let's play. Let's play I Love Katamari, where Harry just rolls around and knocks shit over. I Love Katamari is such a good game as well. It's like the most pointless game ever, but you're just rolling around and picking shit up, so can't complain there. Alright. Ooh. Okay, let me put this shit in this cauldron. 
All right, you do your thing. Yay! All right, only people who go to the gym can open that, which Hagrid clearly does. Hagrid totally lifts, you can tell. Whoa! All right, look at all these goblins working like there's no tomorrow. Damn, look at them, they're like stamping, they're stamping like no other. Just know you've got rights, guys. Look at them, they look so stressed. They need to go, on, go out for a spa day or something. Okay, I'm gonna get bonus from turning on all these lamps. I'm missing it on, I'm missing so many coins right now. Yeah, let me get the gold ones. Oh, wrong thing. Oh, all right. Um, the one thing I loved about this game was that um, you could learn so many different kinds of spells. Because in a lot of the Lego games, you kind of like, I know that every character had different abilities, but what I loved about this particular game was that you were able to learn, I think it was like more than five different spells. So it wasn't just, you had one, it wasn't like just a whack and punch em kind of game. You were able to use different spells to get through parts of the game and not just, you know, have to beat people up to progress. So that was very cool. I think Hagrid only knows one spell though, because he never really, he's not really a proper wizard, but hey, he is the keeper of the keys, which is just as important. All right, Guardian Leviosa me, bitch. Damn it, not high enough. Give me that coin. No, oh, fuck, I fucked it up. I've been bested by a Lego game. That was very pointless. Give me those coins. All right. And I can't open that, can I? There's no Alohomora in Hagrid's umbrella. Oh no, I fucked it up. Oh, I didn't undo that last lamp. What the hell? Oh, fucking idiot. Wait, I'll wait till the cutscene ends. Yeah, I actually keep a drumstick in my pocket, just in case you're feeling peckish. Great drawing. It's like one of those drawings that kids make that, like, you know how kids draw, like, honestly, the drawings look shit, but the parents are like, wow, looks great. Can't wait to be a parent <laughs> so I can lie to my children about how good their drawing skills are. But hey, gotta start from the bottom. Give me that coin. That is worth 10,000 coins. That is incredible. Alright, let's go, little goblin. Open the door. Oh. I've jumped the gun there a bit. Okay, let's do this. Coins, please. Thank you. If there's one thing in Harry Potter that I adore, it would have to be the musical score by, you know, John Williams, who's a legend. Oh, sorry, just ran, you, just ran you over, Harry. Anyway, John Williams is probably one of the greatest film score composers of all time. And it's really funny because he actually did the soundtrack for Home Alone as well. So if you have not watched Home Alone recently, you should totally watch it because A, it's a great movie. B, John Williams composed the score for it. So definitely get back into that. And it's also funny because the score for Home Alone sounds very similar to Harry Potter. So I can't help but think that maybe John Williams just got a bit lazy and used some leftover sheet music from Home Alone to use for Harry Potter. I think it's especially in some of the Christmas scenes in Home Alone that you can really feel those Harry Potter vibes coming through. And then what, fast forward a couple of years, I think what, there's like a five or six year difference between Home Alone. I think there's like a 10 year gap actually. Home Alone was 
was it 1990 or 94? I don't remember, but it's the, it's the 90s anyway. Alright, let me in. Thanks, bro! But anyway, the score for both movies are excellent. And I do like how the trailer for Fantastic Beasts, which is coming out this year, kind of incorporated the original Harry Potter score. Because it's one of those things that you just can't, you, you can never replace the main theme of Harry Potter. It's always going to be that one, John Williams one. That you'd have to be dreaming to think that you could, you know, change the song. Ooh. Alright, this is not Harry's vault, thankfully. I can get all these bonus things. Hmm, what's in here? Oh, thank you. Alright, Harry, get on top of that. Oh. Yes! So many coins! Alright, anything else in here? Let me just break everything. Nope! Okay. Now, time to get to Harry's vault. Let me just magic the shit out of these torches first. I think my favourite Harry Potter movie of all the eight would be the Chamber of Secrets. I don't know why. It could be nostalgia's speaking, because I feel as though the things I watched as a kid have, like, re you know, resonate with me more than things I watched recently, especially if, um, especially if it's like a, uh, like, not really a kiddie series. I wouldn't classify this as a kid series, but of course kids watch this. Like, that's, it's the same with a lot of, um, you know, kids shows I used to watch as a child, like Spongebob. I loved it, and I always remembered Spongebob being this awesome show, but then I watched it recently, and it was like the dumbest shit ever. And I just couldn't believe that I even liked that as a child. And I know a lot of people are devastated that Spongebob is getting cancelled or ending, but I mean, they've had a good run. It's been 17 years, like, deal with it. There are going to be reruns all the time. Oops. Hagrid was too heavy for that contraption. Wait. Ah. Uh, yes. Oh, sorry. Just knocked the cat off the roof. It's all good. They've got nine lives. They'll, they'll survive. Cat, are you okay? Oh, freaking mouth. Wait, let me... Hi. What the... Um, fuck you, bitch. No. Roll you. Roll you to death! <laughs> anyway, okay, we better get on with the game. Let's not get distracted. Quirrell, hate you! Bitch! I wonder if Harry feels pain right now because Voldemort's like right next to him. Will this be the one? Third time's a charm, you know what they say. Mm. Yes! Okay, we've, so we've got Harry's wand now. I can cast some mm. dank spells. Oh, Hedwig. I think I still get tr a bit triggered when I see Hedwig because of, spoiler alert, how Hedwig dies in the last Harry Potter movie. Or the second last Harry Potter movie. <laughs> it was a very sad death. I think I get more sad by the death of animals in film than I do about the people. Like when Sirius Black died, I think I was more sad about how Harry was so devastated rather than the actual death of him because, I mean, you know, I wasn't like a massive fan of Sirius Black, I guess. But Hedwig, come on, Hedwig has been there from the start. Hedwig is probably um, Harry's most loyal pet or friend. And he just got killed in two seconds. I, I really felt that. I felt that pain. Alright. Continue story. That was fun. Oh, I love a good Lego game. They're all good though, let's be real. I think the first Lego game I've ever played would have been Lego Star Wars. I mean, that was probably the first 
a Lego game that was based off a franchise. But I've played Lego Star Wars. Actually, I played it on the DS, and back then I thought it looked amazing. And then I played it on the PS2, and I was like, whoa, these graphics are so awesome. So I think Lego Star Wars would be another game that I would love to see get remastered for the PS4. Because it's not like I'm going to pull out my DS and play it anytime soon. I think the only games that I still play on my DS would be what Pokemon and Phoenix Ride, which is an amazing series. By Capcom, I think it was. I love Ron's hair in this. He looks like a peasant from the medieval times. Damn, Hermione, back at it again with the skills. Hey, there's Hagrid. I bet so many of the students from Hogwarts who weren't Harry, Ron or Hermione were super salty at Harry, Ron and Hermione's bond with Hagrid. They were probably like, why doesn't Hagrid like me like that? And why can't I be part of this squad? Oh wow, so there's um, apparently only what, four students in first year in this particular version of Hogwarts. Real question, where is Susan Bones? Um, she was meant to be the filler in this uh, scene. <laughs> My boy's a little shit. Let's be real. Like, he was such a little shit and he grew up to be like such a pussy. Well, I mean, he was born into a family of evil, but I mean, he was still a bit of a pansy. But considering he didn't want to partake in Voldemort's less than ideal deeds, I'd say that he was a fairly, a, a fairly uh, moral character, I suppose. He wasn't, you know, as bad as they made him out to be at the start. He was just misunderstood, guys. Alright, what's up Dean Thomas? That reminds me, I need to start watching the new season of How to Get Away with Murder, which is a great show, it's so dramatic. Like something's always happening in that show, it's ridiculous. I couldn't imagine what my life would be like if my life was as dramatic as the students in How to Get Away with Murder because I think I'd probably be super stressed all the time. Ooh yeah, <gasps> gold brick! Mad dog. Damn it, I don't know no spells yet. I can't fix this. Alright, let's get a class. Is that Neville? Yep. I like how they drew on Neville's buck teeth. Ha! <laughs> so cute. Um, mate, it's like the first day of school. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. Um, death by couch, great. There's something back here. Gryffindor boy. I think first day of school and Harry's murdered someone. Oh, no, he's all good. I was gonna say, damn Harry, you're the chosen one. You're killing people already. Um... Did I just save someone, or did I just cause them to die? Why is everyone asleep? Go to, go to class, rebels. Well, it was my first day of school. I would have been there like three hours early. It's like when you're taking a flight to another country and you go there like... My parents go to, to the airport like a day before just to be safe, you know? You never know what's going to happen on the roads out there. Oh, I don't know any spells, damn it. Wake up, bitch. Wake up. Yeah, that's right, I got a class. Don't wag. Parents are paying good money for this establishment. Give me your pants. Wait, was there something else in here? I want to be Hermione. Yes, Hermione Granger. How are ya? Okay. So we obviously know no spells, so there's no point in me participating in anything here. Ghosts will guide me. Thank you, ghost. <laughs> I think perhaps the most iconic 
quote by Hermione Granger would have to be from the Chamber of Secrets where she goes, where after she comes back from being petrified, she's like, never better. <laughs> when Harry's like, how are you doing? Never better. I'm pressing. Okay, good. My circle button was a bit busted there. But it's so funny. I was at work one time and um, I used to work with this guy who was really, like, I, I just would never have, you know, taken him for a guy who would quote Harry Potter. And then I just asked like, oh, hey, you know when you have small talk with your coworkers and you're just like, hey, how you doing? And this guy was like, he's usually so like, you know, tough looking. But then he was like, never better in Hermione Granger's voice. And it was the best thing I ever heard. So that was hilarious. And I think if, if I ever said that and someone didn't get it, that would be like my cue to leave them because I mean, you've never watched Harry Potter. You must have no soul. I can't wait for the day. Well, not like not that it would affect me, but the day where students would have to study the Harry Potter series as literature, the way that I would have had to study what Shakespeare, that'd be a good day indeed for them. Although I'd be very jealous, like, why couldn't we study the Harry Potter series in school? That would have been so good. I think everyone would have, got, would have gotten A pluses in that class. All right, let's go to class. I think this is where we learn Wingardium Leviosa. I think my approach to school is probably quite similar to I wouldn't say Ron, I wasn't that bad of a student. Maybe like Harry, like he's just like, you know, your average student. He wasn't particularly clever nor stupid. Ha! <laughs> Ron, you fucked up! Alright, let Hermione do the saving. Yes. All right, one student down, two to go. Let's do this. Oh, coins. Give me some coins. <laughs> there are always coins hidden around. Oh, you know what I miss about primary school or school in general? Blackboards. I used to love drawing on blackboards. I think by the time I finished school though, everyone kind of moved over to whiteboards, but blackboards were a very novel thing. And for some reason I used to love, um, I used to freaking love dusting the chalkboard dusters, I don't know why. I think that was meant to be like used as, as some sort of punishment, but people used to fight over who would get to dust the dusters back when I was in primary school, it was so freaking weird. Damn it. Damn it! I was so close. Right, get in. Oh, I want to get that. I want to get that queen. Wait. Give me that. Maybe I can. Oh my god, this is so much harder than I thought it would be. Um, ah, screw it. I don't think I don't think I can jump high enough anyway. Damn it. Alright, let's magic the shit out of this. Give me some coins. I'm just gonna break everything here, see if there's any goodies hiding. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, the music, I swear to god, it's so good. You know what else has an amazing soundtrack? Besides anything besides anything but John Williams. Um it'd be the uh what's it called? Stranger Things. What's it called? Stranger Things is such a good show. And I'm sure that everyone, anyone who's watching this would know that Stranger Things has been has been regarded as a great show, but I promise you it's a really good show. And the soundtrack for it is incredible as well. If you're a fan of like syntho pop kind of thing, I'd recommend you listening to the album because it's so good. 
And they're actually releasing it on vinyl, which is amazing. Cannot wait for that to be released. All right. Let's rescue your ass. Woohoo. Yes. We've unlocked Leviosa. Not Leviosa. All right, those coins better not disappear. Ooh, oh no! Let's just quickly cast this. Yes! Have I. No? Okay. Alright, well, class is dismissed. I'm out of here. Bye! Bye, Felicia.